Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on life through music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. I trust everyone's going well. And you enjoyed my last video on Australian iconic rocker Jimmy Barnes. And through his signature tune, Working Class Man, we looked at how we're all needed to keep the country moving. So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to 1937, a Yorta, Yorta man. Um, the, the lands are somewhere between the northeast Victoria and southern New South Wales. And this guy was the eldest of seven. And he, he cites um, as, a, as an, an Aboriginal man uh, values of harmony and peace and getting on with each other. And this very much informed his career. The guy we're talking about is Jimmy Little. Now, um, Jimmy uh, got given a guitar at the age of 13 and to pursue music, he actually went to Sydney. Um, Jimmy's actually known as the balladeer and the honey voice. He's got an absolutely beautiful, silky smooth voice, this guy. Um, and he was signed to Royal Zomophone Records in 1956, but later would be signed to Festival Records. Now, we've got a few clips of Jimmy below. First, going back to 1962, we've got Shadow of a Boomerang. Now, of course, Boomerang being such, such an iconic uh, uh, symbol of Aboriginal Australian culture, we had to get a song of that one in there, giving a nod to his heritage. We've got a TV version of this one. But putting that for aside for a second, just listen to his voice. It's absolutely beautiful. It just seeps into your very, very old well-being, giving you that sense of peace and comfort and, and all the rest of it. So I've got a TV version of that. 1963, after 17 singles. So he did hit the ground running, this guy, Royal Telephone. This is all about um, talking to God, pretty much. Um, Jimmy Little is a Christian guy. Um, and he's weaved that well and truly through his career. Royal Telephone's all about prayer. So this actually went to number one in Sydney and number three in Melbourne. So very, very significant song in the scheme of things. Got a TV version of that one. Um, he actually received the NAIDOC Aboriginal of the Year in 1989. And again, because of his just his connection to land, and we've got a live version of Yorta, Yorta Man next. And I think uh, one thing I just want to bring in out again is this concept of home. But with the age of Aboriginal people, it goes just so much further than home. Where they live, where they grew up is very, 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 very important. There is a spiritual connection to land. And um, when you combine that with, with the artistry of someone like Jim, Jimmy Little, um, it's just really, really all-encompassing, overwhelmingly beautiful. Um, um, we're, we need to be very, very proud of where we've come from, don't we? You know, our connection to where we grew up. Um, if you were to um, say where you lived, um, uh, to introducing yourself to an Aboriginal person, I'd say something like this. Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm from the Hackham land. Dad was Kevin and Mum was Beryl. We talk it something like that. Is and and they they then can make some connections back to that heritage, at what makes you unique and significant. Of course, you know our histories are significant and unique, aren't they? Um, we don't always want to think about what our histories are, but they are there. Um, they are part of who we are. And, it's all, and we can't pretend like it's not there. We can't do a kind of draw a big black line and say so we're going to forget everything from that point backwards. It just doesn't work because it catches up with us eventually. So the better thing I think to do is to say, hey, look, it's there. It's part of who I am. I'm going to carry it forward in a way that's healthy. The last thing we want to do is push it down and pretend it's not there um, because it's going to resurface at some point. The better thing to do is to say, hey, look, I'm just going to walk forward through this thing the best way I can. So if something does surprise us down the track and we think, oh, I thought I got rid of that thing, well, it's not so much of a surprise. And certainly for Aboriginal people who haven't had the best of time in Australia in many, many ways, um, some of these histories and these stories aren't the best. 
And so, and it's good to be able to acknowledge the lands where we're from. So it's great to have a live version of Yon, Yorta Yorta Man. In 1992, he was received the Australian um, Hall of Renown, which is the highest country music award absolutely possible in Australia. So good, him, good for him to get acknowledged there. 1999, we've got an official clip of down below. Again, you know, he had a pretty illustrious career. Um, and a little bit later in the same year, we've got a go between cover of Cattle and Kane. It's just to see, see him uh, uh, a little bit in that same year in 1994. Um, he has uh, received the Officer of the Order of Australia in 2004. He's been dubbed as a living national treasure. He's received honorary doctorates from Sydney and the Australian Catholic News and University and Queensland University. So well and really truly acknowledged by Australia. Uh, Jimmy's unfortunately no longer with us, but when he did die, um, um, Australia did really pay credit to this guy as a bit of a, bit of a significant um, person in Australian, not just Aboriginal culture, but music culture in general. Between 1960 and 2012, there were 36 releases. So there's a lot of output there as well. And so it's so good to see him being acknowledged by Australia and the industry have been a significant contributor to our culture. So it's good to give Jimmy Little a tribute today, absolutely. Uh, so the five links to five links are in the description below and I've also included my last video from Jimmy Barnes if you want to recap on him feel free feel free I should say well if this is your first time the life reflections through music or you've come back for another one how great to see everybody here next time we're going to go on to the band the allies so until then I'll catch you around bye for now <laughs>